Greetings comrades, Soviet Gaming here. Today we are taking a look at a new event in the AFK arena that is called the Siren Song and the Conch Collector. So, this is a really interesting event and it's different from everything we saw before because you have the same type of the resources for two types of uh, redemption options. Let's take a look at each of those and decide which will work the best for you and which will be the most effective for free-to-play players. Mostly if you are paid to win, you can wail and get everything. <laughs> We'll take a closer look at those a bit later. Right now, let's go and check how many of those uh, pearls, they're called pearls, we can get per day as a free to play player. So the event will last for 14 days and we will get rewards for 12 days. Right now, we can see that the only way to get those currently is daily quest chests. Lilith can be interesting and sometimes they can introduce something afterwards, but we will count only on those. So per day it's 9 times 5, which is 45 as far as I recall. So you get 45 of those per day from the daily quests. Uh, other than that, you can always buy it from the store, it's up to you if you want to spend it or not. Uh, I wouldn't talk about efficiency of buying in the event deals because I'm completely free to play. And as far as I can see, the price here is kind of steep, so uh, I would say it's kind of expensive. It's up to you to decide if you want to go for it or not. That's not that much. It's just like a three. Okay, it's three days worth. So it's uh, pretty good. Mm, yeah, up to you to decide if you want to go for it or not. So let's open the most important thing ever. The calculator. So we type in 45 times 12. We get 540 of those um, event items per event. You can find 540 of those if you don't miss anything. And that's what you will use to decide what to get. Let's go back into the game. Um, alright, 540, we remember that. Uh, where does it get us in the conch collector? Here you can pick the rewards, so it's important to go for the right ones. 540, correct me if I'm wrong, you can get Alna here. And that's a pretty cool investment for the people, because it's really hard to get here. If you are kind of not going for uh, superhero sets, you can go for uh, the tokens, as always, for the red emblems. They are always the best option. If you don't know what to get, if you have any change left, you can go for those all the time. Here we go, we got all our dailies today and we will claim all the rewards. So we will make sure that it's 45, because I'm never sure about my calculations. It's so easy to mess up because you know, I'm thinking about the different stuff all the time. And there we go. Uh, yes, it's supposed to be 45, so we are correct. Uh, let's take a closer look at those rewards and then we'll talk about the different type of redemption. Uh, I will explain you how it works. Honestly, here, like, the best option for you would be steel. We'll be getting uh, Celestial or Hypergen heroes if you want them. If you don't want to build those guys, you can always, always go for this. Like, uh, Emblem Choice Chest is always the best option. You can get the signature items that you want and that's usually, like, no-brainer. Everybody advise that. That's most efficient, uh, you know, diamond cost wise thingy but uh, yeah I usually go for uh, Hyper GM and Celestial Heroes because I like to build teams right all right so we are decided on the Kanch Collector either Alna or maybe this guy Khazard or if you don't want that uh, if you want to be maximum efficiency go for Emblem Choice Chat pretty easy now the Siren Song it might be mistaken early on that you need 50 of those spent here to unlock the chest. No, it's not true. If you will get 50 of those bloody things, uh, I forgot their name, gosh, you will unlock the first chest. So honestly, like as a free to play player, you will end up at 540 over here. Yeah, you will end up somewhere before the first silver chest. Everything else will be either pay to win or there will be additional event that will give us more of those uh, blood pearls, maybe a Voyage of Wonders, I don't know, it, it happens. But yeah, uh, it, since we aim for 540, we will only get the normal chest. They don't have anything extra in them. They have the uh, option to pick uh, XP, gold or dust or, uh, well, or and, and some pr uh, purple soul stones, which is pretty good actually. You will get some good fodder over there and maybe get lucky with some good heroes. But you will end up here and you won't be able to get even one of those things uh, with additional chest. All right, so uh, what's good about this stuff? What's interesting about this? You can get pretty cool rewards here. You can get a custom emote, custom bubble, and custom avatar frame. Both, all of those are pretty cool. Yes, you will get uh, tier one, tier two, and tier three stone choice chests, poor coins, a lot of different stuff, but the most interesting thing, 
that right now I don't see any option to get those. First, good reward, tier 3 uh, stone is at 900, which will be paid, so you will have to pay to get that. Other than that, you don't get anything uh, extra here, you will just get the normal stuff and uh, one of the uh, chests. The next tier is 1.9k, another tier 3, so to get an emote, you will have to go to 3000. Uh, here we'll get the Siren Song emoji, which is pretty cool, and uh, additional tier 3 stone. Actually, how rare those tier 3 stones are, it's a pretty good reward. Too bad that uh, right now free-to-play players can't get that. Over here at 5500, you will get the bubble, so I think it will be used when you kinda send your message, it will be custom, that's pretty cool. And at 7.5k, in the end, you will get a custom frame, which is awesome yes but extremely expensive in my opinion so yes you don't have to use up your blood pearls here you just have to get them and then you will unlock the next year and you can see other people's here that's pretty interesting that's the first time i see this there is a leaderboard well kinda you can see other players uh going through this and getting more rewards that will motivate people to spend some money honestly that's a good idea but yeah since the current voyage of wonders will end in two days and 16 hours I have a feeling that it will be the new Voyager Wonders that will give us additional tokens. Actually, let me go on the test server and check that out. Yes, there is a new Voyager Wonders, it's called Price of Rebirth, but over here we don't get those blood pearls as a reward, that's really, really sad. So, uh, you will still get the same amount of those unless something new will happen. So, yeah, you are limited to 540. So there we go guys, that's the info about the new event, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, please, uh, let me know in the comments what do you think about this video, like the video, share it with your friends, and of course subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and make sure to hit that bell button so you won't miss any new videos, otherwise notifications might go beyond you. Uh, other than that, you can check the pinned comment and the video description for additional links, we have the playlist for AFK Arena Hero Breakdowns, more AFK Arena guides over there, and links to my social media, I actually started to do Instagram, finally, so you can check out how I live here in Moscow, sometimes it's pretty interesting. And yeah, I think that's about it for now guys, thank you for watching, oh yeah, Discord, join the Discord, right now. Uh, okay. That's about it for now, guys. Thank you for watching. Soviet out. До свидания.